Hey guys, welcome to Tech Notebook, and in this video, I will be showing you how to use the DHT11 temperature sensor and a Node MCU to publish the temperature and humidity values onto an MQTT network. So, let's get started. Okay, so here are all the things we will need for this project. The first thing we will need is our Node MCU. Second thing we'll need is our DHT11 temperature sensor to measure our temperature. And the third thing we'll need is uh, three jumper wires so we can connect our temperature sensor to our node MCU. So now we need to make the connections between our temperature sensor and our node MCU. So the first thing we'll do is to uh, plug in all of our jumper cables into our temperature sensor. So for now, I'll plug green into ground. I'll plug blue into our middle pin, which is signal. And I'll plug yellow into VCC, which will plug into our 3.3 volt on our node MCU. So make sure these connections are secure. And now we can move on to the other side. So first we'll start off with the yellow pin, which is on uh, VCC, which is 3.3 uh, volts. So right here, uh, you see that there is a pin that says 3v3 on it. So that is what we will need to plug our uh, yellow um, wire into. So we will just plug that in right now. So we've plugged that in. Next, we will plug in our ground, which is green. And for ground, we have one right next to our 3v3. So it would be that one right there. It's kind of hard to point. So we will go plug that jumper cable in. And finally, we have our blue cable, which is our signal pin. And we will plug that into pin D7, which is D7 is right there. So we will just go and plug our wire right into D7. So yeah, now that is all. those are all the connections that we will have to do on our Node MCU. So the first thing we'll need to do is to go to my GitHub repository, which I will have linked below in the description. We'll need to open up this program.ino file, and we need to just go click at raw right here. So now we'll get this right here, and we'll just need to open up our Arduino IDE, copy everything in here, and paste it all. So now we will need to change a few things here. So in our SSID, we will need to put in our Wi-Fi SSID. So in our password, we will need to put in our Wi-Fi password. In our AIO server, we will need to put in the IP address of our Raspberry Pi, which in my case is 192.168.2.104. We can leave these blank. We need to scroll down and we need to change the names of both of these feeds. I'm going to call this temperature and call this humidity, but you can change this whatever to whatever you want. So now we need to go into this line right here where it says a Boolean unit. And if you want it in Fahrenheit, set this to true. If you want it in Celsius, set this to false. And that should pretty much be it for this. So now we need to go into here, make sure uh, the proper board is selected. If you're having trouble with this, I will link below the steps on how to do this in the description below. You'll need to also set your COM port. For me, it's COM5. And finally, you'll just need to click upload. Uh, but before that, you'll need to save it. Okay, so now our program is done flashing. We'll now need to go into Tools and click Serial Monitor. As you can see, it is now doing its initialization sequence where it will connect to our network and connect to the MQTT. So now, as you can see, the temperature and humidity values are updating on screen. So these values will also be published to the topic that we had uh, coded into the NodeMCU earlier. 
So if you're going to use any other programs or applications to track this data, you can do so on your MQTT network. So that being said, that is the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.